Ooh, baby, up 12.5% on the day. Bianchi, is this a dream? Is this an illusion? Is this Doge Wolf casting, a dark, casting dark sorcery over my eyes and making me see what I want to see, but it's not actually real? Dark fantasy fiction shit? What's going on here? No, it's, not, it's actually real. 12.5%. Bianchi, 608. Closed on the day. Absolutely beautiful. And now, I'm not... And, and I got to say the story. I'm not bragging. I'm not... I'm not rubbing it in your face, okay? I didn't, I didn't call this. I mean, I'm in the stock. I'm green now, okay? I'm barely green. I'm barely. Green. I don't have much to brag about, right? There's my average right there, five ninety one, two thousand three hundred eighty seven. Now I will say, for all the people that are never that have never seen me before, or you know, that have been drew, that were drew in by the stock, the going the candle, the green candles that we're finally getting today, I have to say, I've been here. And I haven't, I haven't sold a share. I haven't sold a share through this hell week, which is actually months. Okay, I haven't whole sold a share. And the reason, and the one reason why I haven't sold those shares, is because of this. Earnings, and more specifically, it's not. I mean, earnings, yes, but the the business, the company. Why I'm here is for these guys. Now I'm not here for the stock. I'm here for the company to do good long term. Now that doesn't have to be, you know, I, I, that doesn't mean I'm not going to be happy if we if we start mooning here. But I'm here for the long. I'm here. I'm here to make money on a long term investment. That's as simple as it gets. All right, five ninety one. Four dollar four ninety two. Right. If anyone got in, if anyone has their, if anyone caught that dip perfectly, right. Just ten dollars, fifteen sixty nine all time highs, which is B and Joe's all time high. If you didn't know, it doesn't matter what your share is. I think we're all gonna do. I think we're all gonna do well in the end. I think we're all gonna do well. That's as simple as it gets. Now, that's my opinion. Make your own damn opinion. But right now, the hype is seeping into the stock. It's, the, I mean, we're getting the 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 hype, the energy, the the bullish, <laughs> the weevil comment section. Right? I mean, even I mean even the um, I mean even on the even on Reddit, you can tell. Reddit is the, the the subreddit isn't as bad as the uh, Weeble comment section, but people are starting to get really excited. And I, I have to say a couple things, which is um, number one, congratulations, to everybody! Fucking congratulations, to anyone that didn't sell. I mean, God, I mean, I understand if you sell, you're just not patient anymore. But you know, this is kind of why. This is one reason why you do hold. Yes, we did have some good indicators. Okay, I mean, we weren't even that oversold, really. Though we were, we were really neutral on RSI. Today's move, today's yesterday and today were unexpected. They were unpredictable. I don't care if you're if you had a hunch. I mean, I I mean, even I had a hunch that it was it was, you know, it was more likely to go up than down in the four nineties in the five in the in the um in the five low five range. But no, it's very hard to predict shit like this. Yes, we had technically broken out of a decent wedge. Decent wedge is a bullish price. Uh, a bullish, bullish um, chart pattern. And the price target, technically speaking, would be you know way. Okay, would be way. Uh, the price target is technically somewhere in the six to seven dollar range. All right, technically yes, and also the the weekly stochastic indicator. Yes, it's looking good. But my point is, even though there's some bullish indicator, the stochastic indicator in the weekly was actually extremely bullish, and that's one that I did point out. Okay, I mean it hasn't been wrong yet. Okay, here you go. Buy when it's over. Buy when it's uh, oversold in the low twenties and fifteens and tens. It even hit. It even hit below ten there on the uh, in November of last year. That's when you buy, you sell when it's high, you, you buy when it's low again, and then okay, it's it's been very accurate. And it was in the buy zone for a while, and now we're back in bullish territory. Um, and we've gone up a lot. But my point is, this was unpredictable. This came out of nowhere. I mean, five days ago, everyone hated the shit. I mean, just go to the last video. I mean, actually, you know what? Let's just go to that video. Let's go to the um let's go to this video right here. I mean, look at the comments of this. If I can click on it correctly. Look at the comments of this thing, man. I mean, let's just let's just scroll let's just go to the newest here. Dude, no one is I mean, I guess okay, I guess there's some OGs here, but there are people that are, you know, look at this, okay? <laughs> I mean, that's funny, okay, but a lot look at this. Forget B and Joe. Neo should team up with NDM for chips. Come on, man. Come on. Dude. Okay, this is just, this just frustrates me. Gay people don't know that that I haven't drawn it up for a while. But anyways, you get what I mean. I hope. Just take a look at the Weeble comment section if you don't. All right, the sentiment. Boom. Two days of green candles and everyone loves this shit again. Everyone's back in. Let's go hodl to the moon, baby. I mean, never never sell, always buy. Right, the Wall Street bets game. That's what the people. That's what the sentiment is nearing now. Two days, three days ago, it was not. You know who knows? And and let's just let's just you know what? Let's let's transition this into the why we're going up, right? Why why is BJ going up today? We're up to, we hit six twenty nine. We close at six oh eight. 
the big the, obviously the reason probably is because well someone's betting on earnings being kick ass i would not be surprised i mean it's hard to make the argument that this this whole run up here is is fully or even mostly based is mostly a uh, buy the news um or buy the rumor, sell the sell the news. That's that's probably not what is going on here. And the reason why I say that is because earnings in the past for being Joe are usually pretty good. The last earnings that we got was fantastic, in my opinion. All right, maybe not fantastic, but the the revenue, everything besides the the expenses were fantastic. And even when you consider what the expenses were doing, it was fantastic. We went down because of that. The earnings before that was great. Um, so it's. You know, it's not. Um, I, I don't think, and, and you know, based on what we were what we're expecting this quarter, and based on the the hires and the lineage and acquisition and the bio discovery, which is the bio discovery acquisition is not actually going to be in this included here, nor the PLA codes. Those are both not great things, right? You, we want the PLA codes to be um, to be counting towards revenue. Those those happened in October. October is the start of the fourth quarter, so that's not going to be. So let's just make it clear for any newbies out there, right? The PLA codes that became effective. Those are not going to be included in this quarter three, and the um, the bio discovery acquisition that is, I mean, that was you know, this is the news release and it came out on October twelfth, right? So that's not going to be included in quarter three either. But still, still, we're thinking. I'm thinking, and most, I mean, I don't know of anyone who's not thinking this. <laughs> um, I mean, I guess you. I mean, I guess there's some comments that don't think this, but revenue for BioNano quarter four or quarter three, excuse me. We're expecting some good stuff. The expenses, on the other hand, we're not expecting. Most people are, and including myself, kind of. Um, it's not looking amazing just because, you know, we did buy. I mean, the, the, the bio discovery um, expenses are not going to be included in this either. Luckily, right? The 100 million down the drain, right? But um, but the, 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 the um, staff increases, those are going to be included in quarter three. Like, uh, Oh boy, where are they? I mean, by the way, the new—I just want. By the way, I just wanted to remind everybody: the new probe thing, the new probe deal, bio discovery. These are the reasons why we're in B and These are the reasons why, at least I am. The the company is doing great things, and the company has shown no sign. They have, they have, the company's given us no reason to not trust them in uh, in their goal, which is global savoir adoption. This is a company that that acts like they are. Um, that like they are doing like they are they believe in what they're doing like they're actually doing what they say they are which is trying to become a huge five hundred dollar stock down the line because they're trying to have global staff adoption quote by the way check this out we just got a new um new inducement grants under Nasdaq listing rule five six three five just the new um new chief informatics officer this one and the, and she was from uh was she from BioDiscovery? I forget off the top of my head, but yeah, our new, our, anyways, our new uh, CIO, if that's what you'd say, Chief Informatics Officer, anyways, they're getting some shares. This is just a normal stuff where the in, new new employees basically are getting incentivized through nice, damn nice uh, um, options and uh, ways to purchase more shares, which is motivating them to work harder because the higher our shares are, their shares are worth once they are able to get them and sell them. Or, or you know be able to sell them the higher those shares are the more money they make so it, I actually am I, I like those more than most people do because it ensures that our team is on our team and not working against us and you know actually really trying to do and get as many sales as we can get the savard out there and get global savard adoption anyways let's go back to today all right or or maybe maybe two days. Let's go. Let's go back to our expectations for two days from now. So the estimate is four point three million. I don't have X. I don't have the calculations. I don't have them. This uh, this quarter, frankly, because I don't know of any. Uh, you know, maybe someone else out there that's been keeping track more than I have this quarter can actually give me a list of the all the savage adoptions that we think we know of. But I just don't know of many. Um, and that might not. You know, that you might think, well, that's kind of bearish. You, that's you know, if we if the public doesn't know about that many savage adoptions before the um, earnings or, you know, compared to last time we knew about a ton this time, we probably don't know about as, as many to my understanding, at least that might decrease the likelihood of us getting a good revenue maybe, but not necessarily again, cause it's just most of the, most of the have our sales are not disclosed to the public at all. So it's like, well, possibly the CSHL thing, which, you know, I don't, I don't have inside information. I never have, but, um, CSHL, CSHL rental agreement might, mm, that might be very good. 
Um, and uh, that's definitely going to be helping our revenue. It was a, I think, if I remember correctly, it was a um, a rental agreement, not a not a full sale. But still, still, the sapphire volume and the and the consumable revenue are increasing with every single quarter. And let's go to the beauty of the business model by on I talk about this almost every time and every new viewer has to understand this. And my old viewers, you have to understand this as well. What am I doing with my shares? Am I selling? Am I, am I trimming? I haven't sold a damn share. I haven't sold a damn share. There, There's my position right there, 2,387. That's the exact same. You can go back in my videos. Every single video, I have the exact same. I show my portfolio. I show every video. Every video, man. And, uh, and I'm not selling anytime soon. One of the reasons, or the biggest reason, is because of this. Every single year, Bionino essentially guaranteed, you heard that right, essentially fucking guaranteed to increase this little row right here, the total consumable revenue. And the reason is because every single Sapphire, once this lab adopts a Sapphire, it's not like they're just going to get rid of it after a year. No, almost all of them will keep it because if they adopt it in the first place, they're assuming this is an essential part of our lab. We're going to use our budget for it. Let's invest in it. So they're going to use it, you know, for years. Most of them, and most of them, and really, and the majority of them, decades, right? So you add that, you add those guys that are retaining the sapphire and continuing to use it each year, plus the new sales, and that is only that number is only going to increase every year. That's as simple as it gets. That's very, I mean, it's too simple almost. It's too good to be true, but it's not because this is the business model that Bionino has, and this is why we invest in the first place. Or at least a lot of us. Okay. Now the sapphire itself. That's a whole nother video, right? You can go check out the previous videos, the due diligence, um, the, the playlist. Please go please go watch the damn nano nozzle, the, the, the business model, the sapphire, why the sapphire is going to literally, why it is the best in structure variation over 500 base pair detection, why it's the best. Watch that if you don't understand. But anyways, anyways, for, for my OG viewers that are, that are getting annoyed with me now, right? I think revenue, I think this is, this is what I'm thinking, right? I think, and we'll talk about this more in the stream, but quarter two, quarter three revenue, 2021, November 4th, two days from now, Thursday, I think revenue is going to be good. I think it's likely that the, the EPS might be a miss or might be not, not so good just because obviously, you know, everybody's expecting the same thing as last quarter. We've hired so many damn people and the business is just expanding at such a rapid rate that the, the expenses have to kind of follow that just like it's been in the past. However, we've got a ton of cash. The um, our cash runway is bigger than you think. If you if we're being realistic in in our calculations, in my opinion, that's <laughs> just me. Make your own damn opinion. Again, I'm not trying to brag. I'm not trying to say I'm in the green now. I'm making more money than you. Hell no. Okay, I know most of you have a lot of you. I don't know about most, but but a very size, significant amount of you have way more shares than I do, and you make me look like a freaking uh uh what's uh, you know as an ant compared to you. you you compare to the whales out there we there's a ton of whales out there and i'm, I'm barely in the green i'm not trying i don't want to make i'm not trying to be arrogant or bragging that you know you know come up coming up here and saying bionino is going to go to the moon now i never said that in this video okay i don't mean to and I, I don't mean to say that um with that being said i do think quarter two has a high chance or quarter three why do i keep saying quarter two quarter three this earnings report, I think it has a high chance of being a revenue beat. And I know you've been hearing this every day, but I have to tell you, I'm not trying, again, I'm not trying to brag. I'm not trying to say I'm, I'm the all-knowing, all-knowing, omniscient God. No, but I, I, to be fair, I've been right. The one thing I have been consistently right on, maybe more than anything else in this channel's history, is revenue predictions for Bionino you know, every single quarter. I, I think it's three three quarters that I that we've predicted now on this channel. Uh, def, at least two. I th I'm 99% sure it's three quarters, but I don't want to say that because uh, I don't remember for sure. But I, I'm, I'm, I'm pr I think three quarters in a row, definitely the last two quarters, I've been spot on, dead on pretty much with my, my revenue predictions. And the, the evidence is on the freaking channel if you want to go watch those man i mean go ahead um and my prediction this quarter i don't have a rev i don't have an estimate like the other unlike the others unfortunately because there's because a couple reasons but i am i do think there's a higher chance that we get a beat in revenue if the estimate is going to say at four where's it at 4.3 million and i actually and and there's actually a surprising there's actually a lack of articles uh on um, the earnings for Bionino, which is really weird. I mean, it's in two days. I don't know if they're going to start coming out or we're just going to be in the dark a little bit. But anyways, you know, send them to me. Send send the um, send a good recap on the estimates and the EPS. Send me. I don't even know what the EPS estimate is for. Uh, oh, okay, here it is. Never mind. Uh, okay, so I guess it's I guess it's six cents in the hole. 
Anyways, yeah, I think revenue is going to be good. Expenses, EPS, likely to be bad and miss, but the revenue is going to be uh, 4.3 million in my opinion, or at least it's likely to. And I also think the other stuff they're going to say is amazing. It is going to be really good because again, it's not, and it's not for a specific reason because you you know what I'm talking about, right? Not guidance, but the other stuff that they say in in an earnings, um, in a conference. Their sapphires, the the the, uh, the places that they're going to be in, the progress they're making on the new probe uh, agreement right here, the progress with the bio discovery, right? With and not that this right here, yeah. I don't have my contacts in right now, by the way, but I can see pretty good. But anyways, <laughs> um, stuff, the, the, the business, the business progress, I think that is going to be good and better in the aggregate over time because, again, the leadership, Eric Holman, the legend himself, the the, the rich shippies, the Alcachabis, the CFO, right? All these people are very highly credentialed and they've given us no reason to doubt them in any way. To be honest, okay, they've only shown us, they've only done really, they've only done good things. They've only told us good things and they've only delivered on their word so far. So I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. Again, we can easily go down to 530 or five or $4 tomorrow. Okay. Now, is that realistic? You know, let's be honest, probably not. But again, we are, we are overextended as hell in the daily, according to the daily Bollinger Band, we're extended as hell. I mean that's that's a short position, right? I mean, according, according to, I'm not I'm not saying this, but the Bollinger Bands are saying short position, sell now all your shares if you have any left. But I am not doing that, okay? And why am I not doing that? Well, let's look in the past. If you were to listen to the Bollinger Bands right here, you would have been way wrong. Of course, that's a fallacy of composition. You might say I'm only looking at one example and applying it to the whole. I'm not applying it to the whole. I'm just telling you it's not that simple. It's not that simple as one indicator in the business and the hype and the quarter two quarter two. Quarter. I'm gonna if I keep saying that on the stream, I'm gonna kill myself. Quarter three, quarter three, Brandon, get in your head. If quarter three revenue is gonna be kick ass and the expenses are not gonna be that horrible, this could get could get pretty heat. It could get pretty hot in the BNGO and the BNGO community, but we'll see. I mean, anything can happen, but. I still feel great about the BioNano uh, company, and that's what I'm. That's what I care about, not the stock. I care about this. I care about the company, and uh, and not the stock. And fuck you if you if you think uh, if you if you if you if you're a bear. Fuck you if you're a hater. If you're a hater, I don't care what you think. And uh, <laughs> with that being said, um, I think I think we went over everything I wanted to. So with that being said, man, let's go over here. Everyone, feel free to click off now. I'm just gonna do irrelevant stuff. But the um. The nail nozzle playlist. If there's anyone new in the must know beach from information playlist, please go check those out. And this bad boy right here, please set your reminders. You got to set your reminders for the uh, the earnings live stream. <laughs> and um, and with that being said, thank you so much. Feel free to check out Newsweek. There are sponsors in the description. I will see y'all. And and congratulations, to everybody. Fuck yeah, man. congratulations. I'll see y'all in the next one.